Okay, so the next stage is uh, to basically see the result. So what I will do is I will drag a result window in here and I right click and edit. So once TFD post is ready, I click file, load results. And as you can see, I've created uh, all these results files. I've saved them. So in order to load them all, you have to go to the last one, which is in here. Click on the, the .cdat file and wait until they all load. So I press OK. So once all the CDAT files load, a message appear uh, in CFD post telling you that the multiple, so the velocity in stationary frame should be plotted in CFD post, which is equivalent to the velocity in fluent, because we have two uh, types of velocity. You have a stationary frame and you have the uh, velocity in a non-stationary frame. So we need to plot the velocity in stationary frame to see the flow behavior. So I'll press OK, and then uh, what we can do then is create a plane. And by creating the plane, we choose the YZ plane. And we have it in the middle, and press Apply. And then we can look at the contour of, on the velocity contour around the blade. So if I choose uh, velocity, sorry, stationary frame velocity, and this is what we need to look at. So if you go down velocity and stationary frame, and we change the number of contour to 200 and press apply. Uh, actually, what we've what we've chosen here is uh, in the location, we've chosen the blade, which, which is good, as I did it by accident. So if we uh, remove the plane to see, so you can see the velocity on the blade and you can see that the lowest velocity is near the center and the highest velocity would be at the tip of the blade which is has the highest radial velocity as well so now to see the velocity around and and to see the flow uh, behavior click on plane again and then i'll change the location from blade to plane one and press apply so i can and here we go so you can see in this image how the air is being sucked from the bottom of the blade and then being um, blown up, upward. And this is what a uh, propeller do, in fact. For, for example, if you're talking about a drone, uh, a propeller will be sucking the air from bottom and it will be blowing it up uh, to the top. And this will create, um, and basically, actually, no, it will be do it, it's going to be done uh, in reverse so it will be sucking the air from the top and then it will be blown uh, downward uh, and this is this is what would usually create lift upward so uh, just to be clear so now the next step is to see the uh, forces on the blade so basically I would like to see what's the uh, y directional force on uh, on that blade because this would uh, potentially well effectively be uh, the amount the same amount of lift created so if I basically go to uh, a function and then we choose the uh, area average of the blade and we can look here at forces, we don't have forces. Sorry, instead of looking at the area average, we have to go to forces. So go to force, look at the blade, and we calculate. So force on the blade is 0 0.03062 Newton. Now, obviously, this is in the x direction, which we don't want. So we need to choose the y direction and then recalculate. And you can see here we have minus 8 Newton of force uh, in the y direction. So we have a, a positive y force of 8 Newton. So the last thing before I end my tutorial is uh, to see how we can create an animation out of this. So you click on this clock symbol in here and you go to the first uh, time step that you have recorded. 
and then you click on this video quick animation and then you choose the time step and you say I oh, only want to repeat it once you save the movie and you choose the type of movie you want to save so mpg4 go to option you can change the quality to HD 1780 and then in advance we have the quality to highest and press OK and then the next step would be to just uh, click on this play button until we get a video uh, of this whole animation so thank you for watching and take care